YouTube is it going? The Goat House is back with the video that I didn't really plan on making at one point, but here we are. Uh, a lot of people wanted this, and the rumors are starting to heat up a little bit. So this morning, the rumors of Russell Wilson potentially being traded and potential landing spots came out, uh, and it seems to be a hot topic around the NFL right now. So I'm going to break it down. Um, landing spots, who he mentioned he would play with, and then trim that down to where he realistically could be traded to and my final prediction um, as well. So we'll break that down like we always do with these trades. we got full NFL offseason content here, whether it's free agency, trades, rumors, predictions, NFL draft coverage, doing rebuilds for every single NFL team right now. So join us for that. Subscribe. Follow our Twitter. We talk about pretty much everything I'm about to talk about on Twitter already. So instantly talking about NFL news. You see underneath me, walkthemock.com, definitely the best draft simula simulator out there, one of a kind. Check it out. If you're going to uh, sign up, use my code GOATHOUSE for 20% off. Ends up being real cheap then so check it out here's our twitter uh that's my actual timeline um here is uh our profile and you just yeah see constant talk about russell wilson this morning jerrell casey got cut and uh yeah just constantly talking about everything here but uh to uh kind of the contract details uh the seahawks actually lose seven million dollars by trading russell wilson so they go backwards in terms of cap space uh, that obviously wouldn't be ideal. Um, new team receives a 18.34 million cap hit, so they also lose that money, but they gain Russell Wilson. 18.34 million is not that much at all for a guy like Russell Wilson. That's for 2021. Uh, they will receive a 37 million. That's more like it in 2022, and a 40 million in 2023. Um, you know, so that makes sense down there. Uh, you see the dead cap. You know, as soon as you get past 2021, you know, not a whole bunch there. So, uh, I mean, you're you're locked in with them probably the whole way, which which is ideal. Um, but if worst case scenario, you could get rid of them before 2023. But I don't really see that. If somebody traded for him, if somebody had Russell Wilson, I don't see any reason to get rid of him before that point. But what's interesting that yeah, the Seahawks actually lose money. I found that interesting in the. 18.34 million it's a lot of money it's a, it's a cap hit you know but that's really that was interesting too cuz that's kind of a lower you know um cap hit i guess for a guy like like Russell Wilson so um yeah 18.34 but i was tweeting this morning too i started to you know i'm like this trade you know it's starting to heat up but then the tra i still don't think the trade's happening i think it's an absolute long shot and i'm starting to think you know the Seahawks they run the ball first. They kind of went away from it. They wanted to go back. They've said this offseason they're trying to get back. They want to be able to run the ball more effectively. They're a run-first team. They run to open up the pass game. It doesn't sound like a team that really values their quarterback all that much. You know, not They're not a pass-first team. They don't want to put the entire game on Russell Wilson. So it doesn't seem like a team that values Russell Wilson at what everyone else values him or maybe where he should, depending on your opinion on him, uh, should be valued at. So that sounds like a team that would be willing to trade him for a certain amount of draft picks. So I was kind of thinking – Maybe it's more possible uh, for that reason that, you know, I think that's pretty good logic. It makes sense, but I'm starting to go cold on this even happening at all again, you know, to be honest, but then, but then when it comes out, you know, potential landing spots. So you see teams that Russell Wilson have, you know, has interest in, you know, he said he would play for these teams. He only listed four teams and that news is pretty credible. You know, it doesn't seem like any BS there. These are teams that he would be interested in playing in. Keep that in mind. It doesn't mean he's going there. It doesn't mean those teams are interested. It doesn't mean those teams could make it work. He would be interested in playing those teams. Okay? That's all he's saying. Cowboys, Raiders, Bears, Saints. So some teams there, you know, maybe the um, the atmosphere there, the, you know, the fan base, uh, you know, their, those teams' rosters, the winning attitude, uh, those coaches. I think a mixture of those things. That seems to be what's related with these teams. You know, pretty big fan bases, pretty big organizations. That seems to be, you know, something they all have in common. Now, teams that we can throw in there that may make it on that list, I think, uh, can make it work and may, not will, I'm saying may show interest uh, and maybe get thrown on that number one list. Because r something, backtracking a little bit, Russell Wilson has a no-trade clause, so that means he would have to agree to where he's being traded to. Something to keep in mind. Um, and I kind of talked about that this morning, that he may have a smaller list than people realize, and that ended up being true, because then that came out, four teams. So that made a lot of sense to me. Um, and those teams make sense for why he would want to play there, not that they make sense that they're actually going to trade for him. Um, but teams that can make it work and may show interest may make their way on that list. Uh, Patriots looking for a quarterback, pretty big organization. Uh, they have a pretty high draft pick this year. Dolphins have the ammo. Uh, for sure, 
The question with them, would they want to trade Tua, the third overall pick, plus other picks? I don't think they would. You know, if it's Tua and the third overall pick by itself, then maybe. Uh, if it's Tua and not the third overall pick, then the Seahawks are going to decline that. I just don't think those two teams are going to reach a deal. Uh, the Jets, I think they would rather continue on with um, yeah, building the young team. That's my take, but they, they could make it work, could show interest. Uh, I would imagine the Panthers would show interest. He, Russell Wilson didn't list him on uh, the teams that he can join, uh, that he would like to join, I guess. But I think it's a pretty appealing spot. They've been trying to get quarterbacks. They've been clearing space. Possibly Washington's looking for a quarterback, but they have the 19th pick. They don't have a lot to offer, but they may show interest. Uh, the Broncos, uh, I think a pretty appealing landing spot. Have a pretty decent draft pick. Um, you know, maybe I'll offer something. You know, so I think they can make that work. But you know, looking through these teams, yeah, I mentioned the Dolphins and the Jets. I think they would rather you know hang on to their high value picks and keep building with the youth. Um, Washington just doesn't have the draft capital to, to trade. It's this bottom line. People try to speak it into existence with some teams like this. They have the 19th overall pick. They could offer all these other picks. The Seahawks might st- they probably they wouldn't be interested. So they want a high pick. They need a replacement at quarterback. So people try to just insist on it, but it's just not going to happen, you know. So the, the team I would show interest there, um, you know, Washington that being that would be great with Russell Wilson, but it's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, and I talked yeah, I talked about Dolphins, Jets go to the younger route. That leaves the Patriots, Panthers, Broncos probably at the top of this tier, but they would have to make their way on they would have to offer enough. The Seahawks are going to have to be willing to do it. Russell Wilson is going to have to move them on his list of preferred landing spots. So the really right now feels like those are the only landing spots that are possible. So a lot would have to happen there for those teams to work. Uh, then going back to the teams that Russ has interest in, we don't know if the, those teams have interest in him and if they can make it work. I find people just blurting out teams all the time, and you have to really think about it. Can it work for multiple different reasons? Um, you know, the Bears are kind of in the same boat as Washington. They have the 20th pick to offer. They don't have a replacement quarterback. And sometimes a replacement quarterback doesn't have to be a specifically a quarterback. It could be a very high pick. They don't have those things. They got to work out of their cap space situation, which they could do. They could do some work has to be done, but nothing's really adding up here. He would, pl- I think he would play there because you see the Bears, they've made the playoffs with some pretty bad quarterback play. So yeah, and it's a big organization, great fan base. So why not? But it just nothing's really adding up here. The Saints, people forget how far in the negative cap space they are. And I, I already did the Saints rebuild video, and I actually cleared realistically it's possible that you can clear 83 million around there in cap space and I did it I gave you examples and that you know I did that so they can bring back guys like Winston and Trey Hendrickson that's best case scenario to only make very minor free agency additions Uh, but I also mentioned in that video that I wouldn't really recommend clearing all this space and doing all this I would almost recommend taking an offseason off and just trying to get a guy like Winston back Uh, why because you create nightmare situations in the future because all that space you clear doesn't just disappear you know all that space that they cleared in the past keep in mind was 10 million you know they were barely in the negative or they were barely in the positive they cleared a little bit so they can um, keep a guy like Janoris Jenkins you know things like that you know now we're talking about a different monster now you know negative 60 plus negative 70 million in cap space where does all that cleared space go it goes to we see now so that little money that they cleared then is right now and they're way in the negative so if you clear all that money and keep in mind you have to tr- they don't have the draft capital you would have to trade you would have to trade the capital you have to trade some key pieces you don't have a replacement quarterback for the Seahawks don't think they'd be interested in Taysom Hill he might be involved if this was the case and trust me it's not going to be the case the Saints aren't trading for Russell Wilson but all that would have to work. They would have to. The Seahawks would have to want to trade Russell Wilson. They would have to be willing to take take all the Saints, these Saints players. So the Saints would destroy their roster, getting rid of those players, and then still trying to dig themselves into positive cap space. Where is that, that cap space? They're clearing, restructuring. It's going to the future. So then you're left with a destroyed roster, a killed future in Russell Wilson. So uh, I know the idea of Russell Wilson on anybody's team sounds appealing for fan, for fan bases, but Saints fans really shouldn't shouldn't want this because it's just going to kill their future here. Um, the Cowboys, I, I suppose, somewhat possible. If and I'm, I'm, I don't even think that. You know, I'd say the only reason I was going to say that is because if they couldn't reach a deal with Dak franchise tag them, trade them for Russell Wilson. Everyone's happy. They got their quarterback, but they want Dak. 
I would want Dak too. He's younger. He's getting better. He's a very solid quarterback. They want Dak. The Seahawks realistically want Russell Wilson still. So I don't think that's going to happen. So you see at the bottom here, realistic landing spot. So out of all of this, well, what we know right now, what is the date? 25th. The only realistic landing spot is the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, we'll get to my prediction. I'm not saying this is going to happen. It's, I'm not even saying it's a high percent chance it's going to happen. It's the only realistic landing spot because right now he only has four teams he wants to go to. I broke down why those other teams are just not going to happen. The Raiders could happen uh, because they have Derek Carr. They have here. Here's your, you know, you're not going to be out of a quarterback. We have Derek Carr. We can offer these picks and maybe their picks aren't even high enough, but it does come with a guy like Derek Carr. Uh, it could come with a guy like Trent Brown as well, which is appealing. So there, there is a percentage that this is makes this realistic. The other ones, just because Russell Wilson has interest there, doesn't mean they're realistic. Doesn't mean they can do it. They want to do it. It's possible. None of that makes sense. Like I said, out of the next tier, Patriots, Panthers, Broncos. I'd say more so. I'd say more so Broncos and Panthers, with Patriots being three. Those are the next tier of teams that can make their way on that list because I feel like they're kind of appealing. That's me, though. Russell Wilson didn't list them as appealing. He may never list another team as appealing. But they also have draft capital. The Dolphins the Jets are probably the most appealing to the, to the Seattle Seahawks. But do they want to offer up that? You know, Do they continue on the path that they're on, which I kind of like the direction, the idea of the direction. Dolphins, I like the direction. The Jets, I like the idea of it. I guess they haven't done it yet, really. Um, just continue on that path. You know, just continue. Um, you know, that's kind of what was my recommendation for the Saints. Just kind of continue where you're at. You almost need to take an offseason off. You'll be able to go after it next offseason. You know, it's a pretty good team. Don't destroy it. Don't create worse situations. They'll have cap space next year. You know, that's my take on the Saints, too. Um, so the Raiders are the only one that's really realistic at this one at this point in my prediction uh, is the Seattle Seahawks. I, you know, just thinking about it, it makes sense that they'd be willing to trade him for the right price because they're not valuing the quarterback the way people really realize. So they'd be he's not off limits is my point. That doesn't mean they're going to trade him. That's gonna that doesn't mean that's my prediction. My prediction is he stays there. They're gonna lose cap space by sending him away. Them and another team have to agree on terms. You know. Seahawks are going to need a lot because he's a valuable player. He's a quarterback. They're going to take a step back, perhaps. They're going to need a replacement. Uh, they're going to lose that $7 million, so the, the, the compensation is going to have to, be, have to be appealing enough. There's just so many things that just need to happen. It's just And it could heat up. Again, another team can, can get pulled to the uh, Russ is interested in them list, and, and, and things could heat up. It could change, and that's why we're here. We can update you on those things, whether it's on Twitter or the channel, but yeah, I'm, I'm predicting, I really think this is this is all just Russell Wilson showing that he's not that happy and we need to finally go to work. You know, we've had cap space in the past. We didn't use it wisely. We Sometimes we didn't really use it at all. We're, we're being afraid to be great. Maybe not. You know, their philosophy is let's trade for this big-time player. You know, we'll have like five star players on our team or so. Uh, that's really not how you win NFL championships. So they got to kind of change the philosophy a little bit, you know, build a better roster. Um, so Russell Wilson is trying to light a fire underneath them is what I think. And that could get the ball rolling here, could get him happier. They can get, get better in the better in the more important spots, offense line example, pass rush. But I don't know if Russell Wilson's that, you know, I'm sure he wants the pass rush to be better, but I don't know if he's, you know, he's more worried about the offensive line, obviously. Um, so I'm going to say Seahawks for now. There's just too many things that just need to happen, like I explained. And, yeah, people kind of just blurting out their favorite team, you know, the name of their favorite team or some random teams. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. Sit sit down. Relax. Can it actually happen? Think about it, you know. Could it actually happen? Um, is it realistic? Should you want it to be, you know, to happen? Because some teams, you know, do the Dolphins want to trade to a third overall pick? Um, 18th overall pick next year's first. I I don't think they should want to. Do the Saints want to de deplete their whole roster and create nightmare situations in the future like they are in this year? No, they don't want to do that. Um, do the Cowboys want to trade Dak for Russell Wilson? I don't think they should. Do they want to do that? You know, there's other teams that should want to, and in some world it's realistic. But yeah, you got to think about it for a second here. So uh, that's my prediction. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. You can follow us on Twitter for instant talk on these sorts of things, uh, breaking news, breaking down everything NFL. If you're not following Twitter, you're missing out. Uh, but that's going to do it. Uh, so please subscribe to the channel for full NFL content. A lot on the channel already, more to come. Um, and, yeah, smash that like button, turn notifications on. I already said all that stuff. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.